Listen, I knew within the first three minutes of this movie, I was like, the way they're shaking like this at this liftoff, I knew there's no way in hell that I'll ever be in space because it just is never going to happen. What's good, everybody? This is Corey with Whole Views, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Stowaway, a movie that came out on Netflix that I did a reaction to. I was very kind of excited to see. Like, I talked about the space anxiety, and it lived up to that a whole bunch. Super tense movie available on Netflix. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Let's talk about it. So, in talking about this movie, it's so tense, and it's so, at the same time, well done. And, and also at the same time nerve-wracking like I feel like I have to talk about it in two separate phases first the serious appreciation for film side of it second would be just the nerve-wracking tense heart-wrenching gut-wrenching heart-pounding feel that I got as I watched it so about this movie Anna Kendrick's Daniel Day Kim the rest of the cast set design, sound design, score, everything involved was excellent in this movie. Writing, direction, like special effects, great stuff uh, throughout. It was a very, very well done, beautifully shot movie. Like I was kind of stunned within the first 10 minutes. Like, man, it's kind of slow to get started, but as I'm looking, I'm just like, kind of taken aback at how well this stuff looks it looks really really good on a big huge tv probably would look even better in a the theater you know what i mean specifically talking about anna kendrick's she does a great job at like making herself the emotional core of the movie carrying the weight of the film in a way that i really haven't seen from her uh that often not because she hasn't done it but more because i don't watch all of her stuff she did great here though and I enjoyed her start to finish. Still speaking artistically, I have to say this movie is very bleak. Uh, not to give anything away, they used the word hopeless in the movie at least once and I really felt to that feel of hopelessness as I watched it. Now at the same time, it's beautiful in a way, uh, in more ways than one. And physically it's beautiful but then in the story that, that goes along with Anna Kendrick's character beautiful the way she would put things into perspective and it's kind of brought home in the end i enjoyed it i thought it was beautifully done and you know touch your heart beautiful as well as physically aesthetically pleasing and as bad as it made my nerves i would still have to recommend it to people because it was just that good of a watch now switching gears and talking about it from a nerve-wracking horrible situation standpoint listen i knew within the first three minutes of this movie i was like the way they're shaking like this at this liftoff i knew there's no way in hell that i'll ever be in space because it just is never gonna happen um me and my wife was watching this opening together with the space launch because it starts you know with the launch and I looked at my wife and told her, like, hey, you know, if the planet is blowing up, like, we're going to Clark Kent our babies. And, like, we're going to send them out of here. And I'm going down with the, you know, with the ship. I'm going down with Earth because I don't think my body can take going that speed, breaking the atmosphere. Like, my kids, you know, carry on for daddy because I can't, I can't see myself living through that. Like, Daniel Kim's, Daniel Kim, his David Kim in the movie, Daniel Day Kim. We know who I'm talking about. Him, he threw up. And I'm like, mm, I would have did a lot more than that. I probably would have had a heart attack, man. It's just too much. It's too much. It's too violent of an action for me to to live through it. I, I think I would, my nerves get bad. And I'd probably wet myself. Again, I think I said it a few times already, but this movie really, really, really made my nerves bad to the point where I was watching it so intensely on the, on the huge TV that I turned it off. <laughs> I turned it off and said, you know what, I need a break because the situation that these characters are in right now, I feel like somebody could just like detach and float off into space at any moment. Like the way the, sh the movie is shown is like, you don't know who's going to survive the situation that they currently have themselves in. And there's like, there's no, 
what's the word I'm looking for? There's no attachment to like a lead character. Everybody's just kind of there and you don't know who's going to make it in any situation. So it's like at any moment, somebody can go. I, it's, it's messing with me. So I had to pause and, and take a little break. Overall, my thoughts are that the movie was good. And as bad as it made my nerves, I would still have to say, go ahead and give it a watch. Uh, you see true heroism shine through in a few characters, uh, true heroics. You see people make sacrifices. Um, it doesn't end in a way that is particularly satisfying, but I think with some of these movies, they just won't. Like It gives you the story that you need to know, and the rest is kind of just left up in an ambiguous nature. You like to believe certain things, but just the fact that you watch it and it concludes and it leaves you thinking either putting yourself in the position of these characters or thinking about the um, the outcome of the situation for these characters to me that's good cinema that's good that's good movie making you got your audience going so i think that they were successful here i wouldn't actually be surprised to see this thing get nominated for some 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 effects awards cuz it to me maybe maybe i just don't watch that many space movies i don't know but it looked beautiful and um that ending was quite poetic and gave a like a beautiful little bow on a certain person's story. So I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and I highly recommend it. Um, if I had to give it a score, I, mm, if I had to give a score, I'd probably say like a strong seven, weak eight, seven point nine, something like that. Like really, really good. Um, Definitely something that you could see with a group of people if they get invested because I had You know people that was in and out and they was like man. What's what's going on? Like everybody wanted to know little details about it as they saw it. So I Definitely think it's worth a watch good good movie Anyway, enjoy yourself guard your heart come back and check out more videos